Well, let's get back to the story we tried to bring you earlier. I News reporter Anita O is live at the governor's office in Wilmington, where the final report on February's prison standoff was made public today. Anita. Good afternoon, Rahel. Well, that final report made clear that that prison was critically understaffed, that low morale, hostile management, and distrust between inmates and officers led to the tensions that then erupted into that deadly prison standoff on February 1st. Now, on your screen, you will see a photo of Sergeant Stephen Floyd. He is the officer who made concerns public to his superiors before this riot happened. He was killed in that riot on February 1st, and two officers were injured. Now, at a press conference just a few hours ago. Delaware Governor John Carney outlined the shortfalls of the prison and also talked about the changes suggested to the State Department of Corrections after that tragic incident, most urgently concerning staffing. Right now, he says there are 270 vacant positions system-wide. Amid the rapid turnover, he included $16 million in the fiscal year budget to increase salaries for corrections officers and also included funds to hire 50 more. The Report also includes unsettling details about the lack of security cameras, burnout due to mandatory overtime, the alleged mistreatment of inmates, and when asked if Delaware prisoners are treated fairly, this is how the governor responded. That when when inmates are not treated uh, in a humane way, then resentment resentment builds, uh, creates tension between inmates and correctional officers, which make conditions less safe. Now, one of the biggest concerns is that employees had raised concerns before saying that something like this was all but inevitable, but that apparently fell on deaf ears. No action was taken. No changes were made. That is all being looked into. And even though this independent review report is complete, the criminal investigation and the internal affairs investigation continue. Live in Wilmington, Delaware, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Anita, thank you.